18th of April 1999 we're going to give it a whiz I don't know if it will start or we'll soon find out any new engine uh, can be difficult to start and of course when you built it you never know if it's going to start the physical properties are there so it should have done Once I put um, my hand over the back of the car to pull some fuel through, then the engine was fine. system proved as working, it uh, rev very well, and we could then move to the next stage of building the other five engines. Having proven the concept of the eight cylinder engine, I then had to build the other five. I delved into my collection of crankcases from KH250s and started buying them around the UK as well. Once I had the whole set, I had to cut off the gearboxes with a very large angle grinder, bead blast them and then send them off for welding together. The basic engines are now built, the exhaust pipes are constructed and bolted on. The next move was the inlet side which required the standard KH250 carb mounts to be cut down, bored out, bolted on and the manifold constructed from standard copper fittings used in the plumbing industry. Here's, this is 22mm copper tubing. These manifolds were drilled out to 22mm. That fits pretty much exactly in there. I'll get a bit of barrel diet in the end. Cut these down to 22mm in length. This one, standard 22mm T. This will get chopped down so there's only about three or four mil to go on the on the end of the pipe, just there. This one on is the uh, 28 mil. So we need a connection onto that. It's a little bit high, so I'm going to have to file down that collar by about three mil with the file. On, get the T in, in there. Spot on, the 28 mil pipe, measure the distance, I can't see that. measure the distance, I'll try and keep them as short as possible, save weight. That's the fourth one on, fifth one is a 353522 uh, that'll go on there and that is chopped off have the fifth cylinder done next one is another 353522 all right that's the fifth one done all right that's the seventh one on with the brass link next one is that one I've cut it down Put the 22mm end in, that goes on there, fits on there, we just need a link piece which I made earlier, that'll go in there and that'll be it. That is the basic size of the engine, now determined at approximately 750 high, not too bad given that your standard BMW is you know, it's going to go in somewhere like that it's lower than a fuel tank just and the width ignore those gears they're H1 input gears it's worth a try 
and approximately yeah, just under 600 wide. That will be the top of the engine and I'll probably make some sort of fuel tank to go in like that. 100mm diameter tank there. The front wheel spindle is going to be, centre line is going to be about there. And these two exhaust pipes, she would plow it on there in the bottom. I'll run some studding down there, bolt the whole thing together on equal centres. I'll guess them at first, see if I can get them tighter later. Just put like round bits of wood in there and screw them on, and that'll locate them all. Bolt them all up. Bob's your uncle. Another year and a half I reckon and it is now August, no July 2000. So uh, Christmas 2001. Maybe running by next summer. 12 months time. We'll see.